Let's chew the fat. I've had my eye on you. Since I made you a devil, the heat of Avernus burns ever hotter in you. You sizzle like brimstone, glow like hot iron, and seethe like the river Styx. But there's something missing, isn't there? You're hungry for pleasures beyond this plane. Something more satisfying than mortal flesh, blood, and bone. The ecstasy of agony. The pain of the damned distilled into pure bliss. Beyond every climax you've known. The little death writ large. Smile, and I'll come to you when you put your head down to rest. I will sate your most forbidden lusts. Or don't, and know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. Then we'll keep it our little secret. Hand to beating heart. The same thrills I offer you. Some experiences are better when shared. Tonight, then. Be ready. You are enveloped in myriad sensations all at once. Flaming desire and icy despair, the strength of iron and the haze of thick swamp mist. The nine hells of Beartor. The ultimate torment, some souls would say. <laughs> Those souls lack imagination. I'm going to show you the true wages of your sin. Pure lust courses through your veins and plucks at your flesh. You don't know what you want, only that you want it. You feel it, don't you? Primal hunger, irrepressible decadence. Forget the heavens. This is paradise. Till now, I've tossed you the hell's scraps. Tonight, pup. Tonight, you binge. An inferno engulfs you. Your lust blazes hot. Do you feel it? Avernus. Where hell's legions march. Screaming their rage. Where the Styx collects the blood of the fallen. Reach out. Have a taste. The pleasure of torment. <laughs> the torment of pleasure. Forever marked. It's not just a contract that binds us. Can't you feel it, pet? Where my lips scorched your skin. How your soul's frozen over. Your pores flood with heat and frigid water. Your parched tongue searches for the right response. One taste. One indulgence, but the delicious agony remains. <laughs> A pity for you, the one taste is all I'll give. You've got to be kidding. Her? Me, darling. And you can have your turn too, if you learn some manners. I think I'll nip out for a bit, let you two lovebirds chirp. Who would I be to meddle in personal affairs? <laughs> mm. 
You and Mizora. Wow. Just wow. Was it everything you thought it'd be? I'm sure that's true. But it doesn't change the way it makes me feel. I need... I need a minute. Look, I don't own you. I can't tell you what to do, and I wouldn't. But Mizora, after everything she's done to you, Will, how could you do it? You and I both know how tricky these devilish fuckers can be. When they've got you wrapped round their finger, everything seems like such a good idea. Then you blink and you realize, shit. I don't want to tell you what to do or who to do it with, but I won't stand around and watch Mizora do with you as she pleases. Anyone but her. You deserve better. You deserve me. It was good for me. Was it good for you? I thought as much. You moaned like a dragon thrice struck with a broadsword. You turned the pain of the damned into impossible pleasure. You'll never be the same. 